welcome to another mum days video this video is a little bit different um i have been wearing my hair in plaits a lot lately um, my makeup artist did it for me on a job that we did and i loved it she taught me how to do it she said it was simple i, I said no you're lying uh, i did it and actually it turned out to be quite simple i've already filmed this video once um but uh when i was editing it i realized that my whole bra was on show i know what you're thinking on brand i do a lot of work with copperfield and everyone should be checking their baps and you know keeping a general eye we should be talking about boobs it's absolutely fine however not for a hair tutorial video this isn't a hair tutorial video this is me literally to show you what i do with my hair because i don't know what i'm doing really at all so i use this today but usually i just do this literally I'll just try and find my way um just so you know i'm not snazzy um so i think that's half let's feel yeah, it is. Right, so I would take some really, like, not too much, because if you take out too much, it looks a bit weird, I think, uh, what it does on me anyway. So just like wispy bits, um, probably my baby hairs would actually be okay. All the hairs that have regrown since falling out after having Buzz and Buddy. Um, literally divide your hair into three sections. And plait. I generally have three hairstyles that I do. I do it down when it's been washed, a ponytail on day two, and uh, a bun if on day two it's all a bit um, messy and won't sit nice in a ponytail. Uh, and even then, the messy bun never looks a stylish messy bun like most people you see on most people it is literally a messy bun as in what the hell are you doing um so uh, having this now added to the mix is actually quite nice because it means that i can um have a bit of a variety plus it means that if i'm going out and i've got a meeting and i don't really want to wash my hair if i haven't got time to wash it and dry it and stuff um then i've got this as an option of doing something that's that looks like I made an effort. In fact, it looks like I made a really big effort when I probably actually haven't. It's probably just a bit of a time saver, to be honest. Um, and also, the nice thing about this is you put it up and it looks the same at the end of the day, or it doesn't matter if it gets messier. Anyway, I put a curvy grip at the end of that one. I don't know if I said that. Um, and then, once you get to the end of this plait, literally just do this a bit. It's what Claire always does. She has the magic like this. Then, you're gonna literally place it over your head like so. Grab a curvy grip. Ooh. That sound that you can hear, by the way, is uh, his buddy's monitor. He's having a nap. And I just grab grips and I just put them into the plait in places that I think I can hide the grips, but that they, it means that they're gonna help. Everything stay in place. There you go. And then once you're fairly happy with how that's positioned, I'm fairly happy. Literally grab the other plait. Oh, do you do your bit of Claire magic there? Claire's my makeup artist in case I haven't said that. Then you move that bit over there. So ideally at the end, you're going to have this bit covering this whole section here that is a little bit messy. Now here, you're going to try and tuck it under. So you're going to lose that as well. I mean, don't worry. Everything is, uh, you're going to change things up as you go along. So put that in there to keep that in position. And then you can pop another one in here to keep that in position over that. I'm going to pull this over here. In central right now it's all very very rough but when you are a busy mum you don't really get time to sit and ponder over this stuff or if you're in a rush to do anything um so that is basically it that is it uh, if i was bothered about this being a bit puffy then maybe i'd gather it and pin it in there but to be honest i'm not that bothered I grab my strainers and i just loosely twizzle a bit just enough to give it a bit of shape, nothing too major. Yeah, there you go. And that is my look, so I give it a bit of a spray. 
done. And I'm someone who generally is a little bit naff when it comes to all things hair and makeup. So uh, it's nice to be able to find something that, you know, makes me feel like I've made an effort. Anyway, it was a bit of a different video. I hope you like it. I've, I literally made this because so many of you have asked how I do it. So now you know. It's out there. You can all manage to do much better jobs than I can. Uh, I shall speak to you very, very soon. Bye! We are here on this very earth to love and to be loved.